definitely I mean the 400 guys everybody mm. most people come to me for advice and I I'm not selfish enough I help just just guidance where, wherever necessary if anybody need any assistance with whatever it is and they would like they feel comfortable in talking to me then that's no problem um, you know I, I always try to help wherever possible even if it's not necessarily asked you know, I see, a, I see a, an opportunity where I can impart some knowledge. I would try to politely pass that on. What kind of advice like, would you give them like, I mean, to stay calm before a race something? Yes, and to ensure that everybody do their recovery. Because doing recovery is the most important part this time around. So I, I definitely tell everybody to ensure that they drink a lot of water and do recovery. Yeah. Ice bath and stuff. You know, play some video games, hang out together. That's you know sometimes not usually the case um, a lot of people like to sit in their rooms and not not saying that they're worried or, or you know overthinking but I think it, it, it takes a mind a little bit away from you know thinking about competing or thinking about you know some people worry some people are not so calm and, and composed so I think an environment where you can just come together and get your mind off those things is very good. I, I do quite a bit I, I would say. I hang out with the guys, play some games, um, I listen to some music every now and then, uh, I listen to some um, audio books every now and then. So a combination of things and I think it you know together works well. Well it's more some psychology related kind of things like there's one called how to own your own mind, um, you know, as a man think it, those kind, of, those kind of books. Um, there's another one, Law of Success, I think that one is called. So those are the books I would mostly listen to, and you know, you, you get different perspective of how to approach different different aspects of life, and you know, help you to control what you can control and understand that things outside of your control, not to stress about those things. So. I think that necessarily, you know, that, that helps a lot. You're a world champs veteran? Well, I'm a vet, period. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how does that play into, you know, how you approach um, your performance? You know, I know it's different for rookies. They get jittery, nervous. Uh, you know, how does this play into your approach? You've, you've been here so many times. Yeah, um, but, you know, even though I've been here, you know, I put such high, I don't know, my standards high, and I expect to do good every time I come out, you know. Um, my progress has been kind of slow, but I've been progressing regardless, so, you know, number seven. But the fact that you can do it at 35, and you're in, I mean, you're any personal best last year in the 100, you're any personal best last year in the 200, and you're very close to it, you know, this year again at the major championship, and who knows, you might break it after this, these championships. Um, so what does that say about your longevity, the fact that you can come back at 35 and be able to do that? Um, I would definitely say that, you know, honestly, I have just always trusted God to just deliver and trusted his time and his will because sometimes we pray for things and we're not ready for it. And I'm glad that I had patience, you know, to go distance because sometimes disappointment can cause us to give up on, on a dream and I was able to bounce back after last year and mentally prepare myself for this year and it took a lot of hard work but I'm glad I stayed the distance and stayed the course because it's hard it's really really hard the double is no joke and at, again you say at 35 it definitely takes a toll you know and I think with not having the break after the hundred was very difficult as well to bounce back. We ain't even thinking that far. You know what I mean? No, ma'am, I have the good ear, them. <laughs> yes, we we'll have another week ready for the four by one, right? Get old in the champagne's always cold, and the music's always good, and the pretty girls just happen to stop by in the hood.